Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Ray Mane from Colombia. Uh, I'm the scientific director at the Society of Oncology and Hematology at Valle du Parc, Colombia. Uh, and I'm going to give you uh, my perspective of, about the top main results from GU cancers at uh, ESMO this year. The first and the most important one uh, is the Niagara trial that was reported by Dr. Tom Pauls. Uh, this is uh, the testing of the Durvalumab in the per perioperative uh, setting uh, in muscle invasive bladder cancer patients. Uh, they included uh, from CT2 until CT4A, N0 or 1 uh, patient population, and uh, the test, uh, the study tested Durvalumab uh, plus chemotherapy for four cycles, uh, radical cystectomy and followed by adjuvant durvalumab uh, for eight more cycles. The study resulted in an improvement in event-free survival and overall survival. These results uh, were clinically and statistically uh, significant. And my thought is that we have a new standard of care for muscle invasive bladder cancer uh, patients. The second one is the PIS-3 trial. This trial tested ensalutamide plus radium-223 uh, against ensalutamide alone. Uh, the study resulted positive. Uh, it was reported by Dr. Silke Gillison, uh, and she showed us uh, that in the first line setting of castration-resistant prostate cancer, uh, we have an improvement in the combination arm compared to ensalutamide alone. Uh, we have to take in account that very few patients received abiraterone in the castration-sensitive metastatic setting, uh, so we have to be aware of that information in order to make our own algorithm when uh, trying to use this combination. Another important thing about the PEACE 3 trial is uh, the bone health. Uh, we, at the beginning of the study, the investigators uh, saw that the, the, there was an increase in the rate of fractures that was consistently solved with the use of bone protecting agents. So this combination has to be uh, used with uh, denosumab or soledronic acid to prevent these kind of uh, adverse events. The other study uh, is the TINIVO2 trial. Uh, it was uh, for patients with clear cell renal cell carcinoma uh, in the second or, or third line of advanced disease. Uh, the study tried to understand whether the continuing of immune checkpoint inhibitors or the rechallenge of immune checkpoint inhibitors plus uh, a new TKI uh, would be better or not uh, compared to the uh, TKI alone, in this, in this case, tibosanib. Uh, the result, as we expected, is negative uh, because we knew uh, uh, from similar trials that the TKIs uh, like are the backbone in the second and third lines, and uh, the rechallenge or the continued use of uh, immune checkpoint inhibitors does not improve efficacy in later lines. Uh, the conclusion of this study uh, should be that uh, we shouldn't keep uh, or rechallenge immune checkpoint inhibitors in later lines of renal cell clear cell carcinoma uh, after being used in first line. With that, uh, thank you very much, and I hope uh, that this information is valuable for, for your daily practice.